Well, for the first time, some OSU media and strategic communication students have been turned on to virtual reality world and getting graded on it. And if you think it's just a way to get more video game hours in, you're not entirely wrong. News Force Caitlin Ogle explains the eSports class teaches them how to apply virtual reality to their future career. It's a giant industry. It's a billion dollar industry. I think we are on the cusp of something big. I would be like silly not to take this opportunity. Some OSU students are putting on their headsets and plugging in to the booming industry of virtual reality. Each student gets a $400 headset for free during the specialized eSports class. First thought was, what? This is too good to be true. Professor Sky Cooley says VR is like walking into a picture or a movie. You can actually move and interact with things just like it is reality. The only difference, of course, is that it is virtual. This semester, his students will learn the basics. Here's how you put it on. Here's how you reduce some of the strain on the optic nerve. And the not so basics. How to move objects, how to resize things, how to color them in, and then eventually how to make them interactable. It almost feels like you shouldn't have that much creative liberty. Like but the real challenge here, applying these skills to other careers. It's applicable in, in a lot of different fields. Right? Hayden Holland and Alejandro Cavazos are enrolled and exploring the VR metaverse from meta platforms formerly known as Facebook, during class. They say their futures are in media and marketing, not video games, but they already see opportunities. There's already marketing being done in the metaverse. Lynn Burady, a professor in the design and merchandising department, says they just started their own special program in VR because that's where the industry is going. I heard from industry that they're starting to hire gaming professionals. They need people immediately who are versed in 3D design, in virtual reality, and in making all this work in real life for them. Burady says her students have been using 3D technology to make clothes fit someone perfectly. But when COVID hit, they couldn't bring models into showrooms. They started all using virtual models, which has accelerated their use of 3D in the production part of apparel design to the point where many of them are not going back. Both Boo Rady and Cooley say this is just a taste of what's on the horizon. This technology is here. It's not going anywhere. And our virtual reality and augmented reality are coming for us all. In Stillwater, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Abu Rady also says there are already high-end luxury stores in the metaverse where people shop online. There are also a market for digital clothing, only worn virtually. Listen, this is how it works. You can buy something, take a picture, and no one knows it's only virtual. That's some crazy stuff right there.